I'll look after the kids today. What about work? How am I supposed to concentrate? Kirsty said she'd be watching our every move. Yeah, well, I told you what I think. I still think we should try and get away. Yeah, I know, and I know I said I'd be up for it, but I don't see the point. If she's watching us, she could just follow us. Actually, we're probably better off here. Safer, anyway. At least we've got friends. Right, then, so we'll just have to carry on like normal. <laughs> normal? Ty, we've got no choice. And what if she's planning somewhere? No, she knows what it feels like to be locked up. She's not going to risk losing her freedom again. So why is she harming us? <sighs> I hate feeling so helpless. I just wish there was something I could do. Are you sure, Steve? Why not just a couple of hours? No, no, I understand, honestly. It's all right, love. OK. I'll speak to you later. Bye. I'm running out of options here. I've used up all my favours, haven't I? I feel like death. Yeah, well, can you die quietly, please? I could call Rob. Well, we're not suffering enough already. Oh. Last thing I need is that smug git knowing I've fallen off the wagon, I'll tell you that. What? Have you told him? What did you do that for? I mean, he hates me already. Just adding fuel to his fire, brilliant. I'm not a robot, Peter. Sometimes, right, just sometimes, right. I need some support. He knows I'm pregnant and all. What? What did you do that for? Now he'll tell Tracy she'll put an ad in the Gazette. Brilliant. Perfect. Well done. Get off. So, uh, you going to work? Oh! Look at you. It's the first sign of life you've shown today. Well, what's that supposed to mean? The minute you sniff the possibility of escape, you perk up. No. That's in your mind. Oh, really? Yeah, it's in your mind. So the minute I tell her back, you're not going to go out and get wasted? Please, just get off me, case, please. So innocent, aren't you? Like the thought never entered your head. Oh. Now you're phoning. Hey? Oh, I'm warning you. Really scraping the bottom of the barrel now. That's what happened, was it? No milk. That's because he sloshed it all over his cereal, man. I don't know, we go through so much of this stuff, to be honest. Yeah, we should get a cow for the backyard, eh? Oh, never in a million years could I touch another. I could, so long as I had Eileen's marigolds on. There's no bread. I mean, nothing to eat, nothing to drink. What a fabulous start to my day, eh? Well, I'll nip to Dev's if you want. Well, oh, thank you, Eva. As soon as I've done my makeup, I'll go over. So that'll be what? A couple of hours? Oh, perfect. Right, well, I'll get off then, shall no, I? No, 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 sit down. I'll make you something. Oh, chance would be a fine thing. No, you're all right. I've got to go. I'll text you later. OK, all right. Mm -hmm. all right. I am sick to death of the lots of you. You treat this house like a hotel. <laughs> hey, wake up, Tony Daydream. Sorry. Oh, no. You're not yourself, are you? Still fretting over Marcus? No. No, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty much over him now. Well, your face is telling a different story. Honestly, Audrey, I'm fine. Can I say, Maria, you don't have to put on a brave face for my benefit, darling. Okay. If you must know, I've fallen for someone else. What? You never have. I have. Already? Oh, my goodness, you don't let the grass grow, do you? <laughs> well, who is he? Do I know him? Well, I can't say yet, but just watch this piece. <laughs> Regardless of what you might think, this house is not a knocking shop. Could have fooled me. Oh, shut up, Todd. I don't want him here. Why not? Jason's birds always stay over. Oi! Charming. Well, apart from anything, there's no room. This house is full to bursting. Well, if you don't like it, you can move out. Well, I've told you before, Sean is part of the fixtures and fittings. <laughs> so are you two an item now, or what? Yeah, pretty much. Well, either you are or you aren't. We are. Do you know what? You deserve each other. Me and Marcus, we've got chemistry. No point fighting it. Mum, we make us bacon sarnie. Mm. Would you like me to peel you a grape at the same time? But if you close your eyes, 
does it always feel like nothing's changed at all? If well, I must say, I'm glad this new man of yours has put a smile on your face. Promise me one thing, darling. You'll take things nice and slowly. You won't do anything rash. Hi, Tyro. Morning. Oh, yeah, you're all right. Uh, not really, no. Why? What's up? I was just wondering if I could see you later. I could do with the chat. Yeah, of course. Great. Nip to the garage on your break. Okay. Right, I'll love you and leave you. Later. Uh, this new man of yours. Please tell me it's not Tyrone. Hello. Sinead said you phoned in sick. I just wanted to see if you needed help. Oh, you're making me feel guilty now. I'm not chucking a sickie, are you? There's just something I've got to do today. This thing with the text has got to stop. Oh, yeah, but how? Ty thought he was doing the right thing, wrecking his phone so she couldn't get through to him. You should have done it ages ago if you asked me first. It's just made him more paranoid than ever. He's terrified. It's like Kirsty's knocking the life out of him all over again. That's why I've got to go and talk to her. You're joking. No. I've, um... found Kirsty's mum's address, so... I'm hoping she's living there and all. Fizz, please tell me you're not going on your own. You can't do that. Who knows what she might do I've to you? I've got no choice, Chez. We can't carry on like this. Right, well, I'm coming with you. No, you don't have to do that. I've got work now, but we can go this afternoon. Are you sure? Just promise me you won't go without me. Promise. Please, no. Not Nurse Ratchet, no. Oi, I'm giving up my precious time for you, oh. so a bit of gratitude won't go amiss. Yeah, no, thanks for this. I appreciate it. Rob tells me you're back on the sauce. You've only been out of rehab five minutes, Peter. Hope you got a refund. It's like a two minute. What's the matter? Is the lecker been cut off? Right, don't let him out of your sight. Oh, he, he can hear you, you know. Well, there's no point in pussyfooting around, is there? Everybody knows you're hell bent on drinking yourself to death. Sorry. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? Don't. You're a raging alcoholic, Peter. You're not a flipping vampire. Tracy. My head's banging. Right, now go and get a shower. No. Do you think I'm going to sit here breathing in your sweat? Go on, go, otherwise I'll drag you in there myself. Move it. Forgot on your watch? Yeah, right. You're missing me already. Oh, well, honestly, I forgot. <sighs> Hand it over. You uh, fancy uh, coming back in for round two? I wish. Oi, pack it in, you two, will ya? Or else what? Beefcake? Gonna give me another slap? Behave. Hey, I said back off. Just ignore him, he's an idiot. I'm trying to be brave and move on. I really am, but... I know. You were so sweet the other day, when you stuck up for me, Ty. No, honestly, you don't know how good it feels to have someone on my side. Yeah, well, you've been there for me. Don't forget that. <laughs> Do you know what we need? To get away for a bit. <laughs> it's fizz all over this. She's desperate to get away for a week or so. What? I was thinking of a few hours this afternoon. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, come on, it'd be worth it. Come back feeling all refreshed, ready to face the world. And you did say that you wanted to talk. I thought maybe we could go to Longford Park, just have a bit of a wander, clear our heads. Yeah, I suppose we're not that busy. There you go, then. <laughs> it's a date. <laughs> what are you doing with our stuff? Keep your nose out. Tracy! I am removing them, making sure they're out of harm's way. Well, what do the following items have in common? Nail polish. Nail polish remover. Mouthwash. Hairspray. Perfume. Well? They all have alcohol in them. Are you for real? Do you what, I'm seriously surprised your missus that... didn't pick up on it. Any port in a storm. I'm not that desperate. Yeah. Well, that's what they all say. <sighs> oh, bless. It's my fiancé. Right, I'm going to have to nip out for a bit. Yeah, well, uh, I'm back I'm going to have a lie down. Yeah, you should do that. And 
don't think that I'm giving you a free pass. I'm locking you in. What? No! No! Tracy, open this door. No can do. No, I mean it. Open this door yes. now. What? Wait. What, what if there's a fire? Oh, Tracy! Oh, thanks again, Mrs Pierce. I'll see you soon. Don't judge me, Audrey. I'm... I'm just surprised. You chasing a married man? He's not married. Well, he's a scooter, has. Hmm? I mean, have you thought what this is going to do to Fizz, to those two little kiddies? We didn't go looking for this. It just happened. Oh, just happens, right. Aren't those the very words Marcus said to you? Hmm? Cheats always say that when they don't want to take responsibility for their behaviour. We're not like that. Me and Ty, we go back years. Spending all this time with him recently, it just... just made all those old feelings come flooding back. Yeah. When he's been a good friend to you, my darling, I know that. Just don't go reading too much into it. I'm not. <sighs> Maria, please. You've been very hurt. And disappointments can leave a scar. It can make you very vulnerable. Well, I'm glad Marcus dumped me. I am. Because it's made me realise that Tyrone's the perfect man for me all along. And he feels the same way about you, does he? Well, he's never been great at talking about his feelings. But... <sighs> I am sorry, but it sounds to me like you are really deluding yourself. Oh, OK. All right, well, if that's true, why does he want to meet me in Longford Park later? Hmm? To talk about us, about our future together. Did he say that? Not in so many words. Well, but... There you go again. Oh, God, you're just assuming. You're putting words into the poor lad's mouth. Audrey, I let him go once before, OK? Trust me, I'm not going to let it happen again. That's it. That's the one. I'm not sure about this. Confronting her. It's going to be like poking an angry dog with a sharp stick. I've got to do something. You might just wind her up, Fizz. Make her even worse. Well, that's just a chance I'll have to take. Look, look, why don't we just phone the police? Let them deal with it. Because she'll only lie, say she's done nothing wrong. But they're used to that, aren't they? You know, people lying, they might be able to, well, I don't know, scare her into stopping. Chez, the police have already explained to us pay-as-you-go phones are almost impossible to trace. They'll never be able to prove it's her. Why are you scared? I mean, I know I came here to support you and everything, but I'm bricking it. Yeah, me too. But me and her have got a score to settle. I'll see you later. OK, I'll keep everything cross for you. Yeah, me too. Good luck with your interview, Dad. Right, same to yeah. you, love. See you see later. Ya. Bye. See ya. Oh, anyway, you don't need luck, do you? Dev's done the job with yours. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Anna. Oh, hi, Gail. After you. No, no, you go first. <laughs> hey, you don't want to be doing a workout with face full of makeup. You get pores all blocked. <laughs> Actually, I'm uh, here for an interview. Receptionist. So am I. You've already got a job at the beach, Joe. Yes, but I need another one to make ends meet. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, Katie. My file. Full of ideas. Ideas for what? Suggestions for improving the business. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, Katie keeps her ideas in her head, don't you, darling? She doesn't need to write them down. Here we are. Two lovely ladies, huh? Sorry, ladies, can it find? Right, come on, then. Let's go through and do this thing. A bit of competition's a good thing, no? <laughs> as long as uh, there's no fighting there, play nice. Sorry to disturb you. No problem, that's fine. No, Joy. She says Alison's moved away. So did she not leave a new address? Apparently not. So what now? 
I really don't know, Chess. This was my only hope. So when will you let us go? Uh, today, if you'd like to wait. I'm not one to blow my own trumpet, but uh, my interview went very well. So did mine. They seem to be very impressed with the way I pushed the envelope. Envelope? But no one mentioned an envelope to me. This is the experience side of it, and I would suggest people need managing. All right, so what do you think? Gail. Kate. This has got youth and vitality. It's not to be sniffed at. Youth isn't everything. There's a lot to be said for experience. Mm. Katie is bright. She is bright, and she can learn as she goes along. Gail worked at the medical center. So? <laughs> She's a safe pair of hands. If disaster struck, she'd be very capable. What disaster? Like someone choking on a protein drink, or fire breaking out in the sauna. She'd know what to do. It's a good point. So, youth and vitality versus maturity and common sense. It's a tricky one. Well, they're like a heifer at a cattle market. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Katie's like a Porsche Boxster, man. She is sleek and she is stylish, yes? There's a lot to be said for Gail, the Austin Allegro. Okay. I got 250,000 miles out of mine. Huh? Yeah. Then? With that attitude, I wouldn't even consider working for you. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm sorry. And he's, uh, sorry. Look, ladies, just... You're both just such excellent candidates. You know, we just bought for choice. <laughs> An embarrassment of riches. Yeah, exactly. We'd like to take you both, but there's only one job. Well, we might consider a job, Shep. Well, that's perfect, isn't it? That's a perfect solution. See, I'm not sure you can afford us, though. The hourly rate just went up by one pound. All I'm saying is that we should just take it easy for you. We need to man up, babes. Me and you were meant to be together. Why fight it? I just think we should try and be a bit more discreet, that's all. Yeah, but I've got feelings for you. I don't want to keep them to myself. In fact, I think you should move in. <laughs> what? I never know if you're joking or not. No, move in. It's way too soon. When I go down the precinct, I'll get a key cut for no, you. don't do that. Eileen will go ballistic. Anyway, you lot already packed in like sardines. Yeah, but I miss you always when we're apart. Come on, move in. Put me out of my misery. Mm -hmm. Well, well, he offered his job share, me and Gail. And uh, guess what? Well, the bag does another pound an hour. Oh, well done, you. So when do you start? Uh, tomorrow. I can't wait. All those fit men in shorts. <laughs> well, it's nice to know you got your priorities right. Do you know what? I was thinking, I might train as a fitness coach. You know, I'm not very bendy, am I? But I do like aerobics. <laughs> How did it go? Oh, no good. Yeah. Well, there's only packing stuff in boxes, weren't it? Yeah, you're probably overqualified. Yeah, well, something will turn up. Hey, how'd you go? Yeah, got it. Part time. Good girl. Yeah. Well, should we go to the Rovers later, eh? Celebrate. Typical you spending your money before you've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, you were right. I usually am. <laughs> how about what? Come in here, change the scenery. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Getting out, just me and you. I always wanted a big family. There's well, still time. Do you reckon? Yeah, sure, why not? Do you want more kids? More the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, me too. Will you do us a favour? Yeah, anything. Will you text Fizz and let her know where I am? I've not had a chance to get a new phone. I don't want to worry it. <laughs> hey, well, will you do me a favour first? And get us one of them 99s with everything on it, eh? <laughs> I've no idea what I'm gonna do next. Well, I know you think there's no point, but maybe you should try the police again. Fizz, that last text you sent was more threatening than the one before, wasn't it? Yeah, what is she playing at? Why can't she just leave us alone? Fizz! Oh. Have you got me yeah? Sure. Uh, oh, hi, Jess. Hiya. Is something wrong? Well, uh, yeah. You know, um, it's been rather a, a difficult time for Maria since Marcus left her. Right. Yeah. It's just that I think the stress of it all really got to her. Look, Audrey, I'm sorry. I've had a bit of a rough day myself, so... Oh, yeah, no, I... I'm sorry. It's just that Maria confides in me, and the last thing I want is to betray her confidence. 
But you know, if things went too far, Fizz, then I would never forgive myself. What do you mean? I don't know where to start, actually. Uh, in fact, you know, I don't even think I should tell you. Audrey, tell me what. Carla? How is he? Oh, stick my headphones in then, shall I? Uh, don't be like that, please. Well, pretty much he's, he's the same, you know, feeling sorry for himself. All right, well, listen, if, if there's anything I can do, just say, yeah. Tracy! Oh, hiya. Where's Peter? What, he's in the flat? Hey, you missed a trip with this lot. I told you not to leave him on his own. I am one step ahead of you there, love. All of these things have alcohol in them. I'm surprised you didn't think of it. He can't be left alone. He can't be trusted. Stop stressing. I'll lock him in. Oh. Oh! Well, there's no need to thank me, you ungrateful cow. And you can kiss goodbye to your posh perfume as well. The sister is a complete and utter pillock. The one time I ask her to help me out. One time. Don't try and stop me. No. This flat is doing my head in, OK? Where are you going? <laughs> I don't have to answer to you. All right, I'm coming with you. No, you're not. What, really? Really? Peter, you want to get out of here? You're going to have to get past me first. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.